Hello, this is WWJDTV, also known as Joshua Klein, and today I am going to be doing tutorial number two on how to use Hugin. So this tutorial we're going to assume that you have an equi rectangular panorama with the horizon not straight across the image. So this image, for example, has the horizon offset, so it looks like the camera is tilted. Um, so if we were to look around it like this, it's always a bit off, simply because when you look at the image raw, the horizon is waving about, okay? If you were to put a straight line across this, and I don't actually know how, um, yeah. If you were to put a straight line across this, you would see that it's not straight. So. So this we're going to be, of course, using Hugin, which, as stated in the previous tutorial, is a free and open source alternative to PT GUI. It allows you to stitch the images, however, in this scenario, we are assuming that we already have a stitched image, and are instead trying to straighten it. So we're going to open up the blocked image that we already have. You can ignore this line here because in your final image you will not have it and you're just going to want to switch to the move and drag tool. Now I've got it set up to show the golden ratio um, normally you'll probably have it looking a bit like this with the grid I normally turn off the grid because I find it a bit distracting long term so just move the center wherever you want um, try to center it on the horizon and then you can go and rotate the image like so until you've got a bit of a horizon lock. As you can um, So if you go back over to Assistant, you're not going to be able to create your panorama. Because it wants more than one image. Okay, it doesn't like this only having one image thing. So you're going to have to go to the advanced interface and switch to the stitcher tab. You're going to want to calculate the optimal size and field of view. You always want to click these two and select which format you're going to output it in. Um, I normally do TIFF and NONE, and thus I'm going to be uploading it immediately afterwards. This is because TIFF, with no compression, means that you don't lose data while doing edits, like rotating the image and such. And this leads to a higher quality image on upload. So it the project has to be saved as a project file before it can be sent to the Nona Stitcher. So you're just going to want to save that as a random project file name. Um, and then you're going to want to say, set the output prefix, such as .tiff, uh, .tiff with two Fs. Um, I traditionally do one because that's how it was autosaving for me a while back on PT GUI. So what it's going to do is it's going to remap TIFF, the TIFF image, and then it's going to go and save it. And now we should have the test1, one, test1 one TIFF, which if we open up raw, you will see that we have an almost straight line across it. When we pull it up as a photosphere, look around. The image is practically straight when we look around it. So that is how to straighten a equirectangular image in no in Hugin using the Nona Open Source Stitching program. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to be doing the stitching two halves of a panorama video in the near future. I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you all next time.